Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. It's understandable and noble for America to honor its war heroes, the men and women who put their lives on the line to fight for country, deserve all the recognition they can get. But true heroes, of course, are not a dime a dozen. At least that's the point filmmaker Preston Sturgis was trying to make when he wrote, directed, and produced our next film today. It's a comedy about a young man who enlists in the Marines during World War II and returns home a year later to a hero's welcome. But it turns out he misrepresented his achievements just a bit. Just a lot, really. From Paramount in 1944, it's Hail the Conquering Hero. Preston Sturgis was adept at spoofing sacred pastimes. Here, he set his sights on hero worship. As soldiers were returning home from the Second World War, it was not uncommon for their hometowns to organize parties or parades for them. But Sturgis noticed it was becoming a little too common. To Sturgis, there seemed to be a lot of honoring people for just showing up as opposed to real heroic achievement. Perhaps Sturgis saw it as a precursor to giving kids trophies just for participation. Eddie Bracken stars as the man who eagerly enlists to fight but didn't, a victim of a dangerous bout of hay fever. He was so ashamed that he couldn't face his family, but a series of unlikely but skillfully plotted events turns one small lie into a giant town-sized deceit. When his lie becomes a public spectacle, Bracken has to figure out how to come clean before he's found out. From 1944, nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay, Here's Hail the Conquering Hero. 